Good morning, family, and welcome to today's lessons for life. Today is Saturday, September 5th, 2009, and today we're reading 1 Chronicles chapter 3. And as always, I encourage you to read the chapter through for yourself, see what you get from it, email us, and we'll put it on the blog. Uh, but we see in this chapter they're <coughs> still continuing on with the uh, lineage, and now they're going from uh, David down, and this is just, um, you know, really just showing the, the sons that were born to David and the sons that came afterwards, too. But an important thing to note, and I would uh, share this for Lessons for Life, an important thing to note of how it even lists the sons of David, and they say these are the sons of David um, besides the ones that were from his concubines or, you know, his uh, other women on the side, how, as you put it. So they were only listing the ones that were actually um, the sons that, I guess, came from uh, the wives that he had and not the, the concubines. So that was something I, I noted as I was reading from, because uh, even considering how they chose who was going to be the next king and so forth, it wasn't going to be one that he was with um, from the concubines, but it was actually one that he was, uh, that came from uh, one of his wives. So that was something I, I noticed <coughs> and I just made a mental note of, of how they uh, valued the uh, family, I guess, or the, the, the wives of the um, king or David in this instance and they didn't even mention the ones that came from the concubines. So that was something I noted I wanted to share for Lessons for Life. Um, and they even too, not just that, you know, they, they listen so many sons, so many sons and you don't hear too many daughters being listed. There's only like I think one or two in this chapter, Tamar and uh, Shalemith down, down as you read through further, that there was sisters and um, they're really just listing or focusing on the male children, which were the ones that are going to be in direct <coughs> in line um, to be rulers over uh, Judah or the um, children of Israel or whatever. So that's another important thing for us to note of, um, you know, who was going to be the ones that was going to be over, ruling over. It wasn't going to, it wasn't going to be the women, but it was going to be of the sons of David and of that line that came down after. So that was just another important note for us to remember too um, of even the type of society that was where it was uh, patriarchal as opposed to uh, matriarchal where the woman is, um, you know, has rule and authority over and you know, can become, you know, a, a leader over the people. So uh, those are the things I got from reading this chapter, just a couple points. Uh, like I said, you read it and see what you get from it. And with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.